so uh, when you are given a question in relation to certain accounting and ask then they are asking you to uh, you know identify the uh, you know substantive procedures you're gonna do for, with respect to the accounting aspects then this is the approach that we're gonna take when you're writing the examination the approach is divided into M R S and A first you need to write about the materiality materiality of the issue of the issue materiality is something that is very important that you need to highlight because uh, many students I've seen that don't score professional marks just because they have not written the materiality because any issue that is given let's say for example uh, non-current assets uh, as per non-current assets training cost cannot be capitalized and if they have capitalized it it is an issue you need to first identify what is the amount of training costs that have been capitalized and explain to the examiner that this is a material or immaterial balance. If it is immaterial, you can stop then and then there itself. But if it is material balance, then you have to, uh, you know, write down clearly what the procedure that you're going to do and identify the risk as well accordingly. The second is the risk. What is the risk that is mentioned here? Uh, what is the risk of misstatement, whether it is uh, an error, whether there are chances of fraud uh, or, uh, you know, is there a control gap? What is the issue here? You need to identify the risk. If there is a specific accounting treatment they have done incorrectly, then you need to identify the risk. Mention the possible risk attached to those accounting issues. It could be that, uh, you know, uh, revenue could be overstated. Like you can mention uh, assets could be understated or overstated. If it is training cost, then expense could be understated. Assets could be overstated. Incorrect capitalization of the training cost. So what account, which specific account is overstated or understated is what you are you're required to write here in the, um, in the R risk part of the uh, answer of your solution. Then you need to explain the accounting standards. That's very important. Sometimes uh, students might ask me this question, sir, do we have to remember the IFR standards? Not necessary. You don't have to write the entire IFR standard, but at least you need to explain the conceptual framework of what is the standard talking about if they are asking you a question in relation to non-current asset then you have to explain as per ia 16 what is right and what is wrong so you need to write what exactly uh, is, is wrong with respect to the standard why do you think it is wrong what is a possible reason it is wrong etc and then a talk about three a's i would put it in this man manner first one is assertions you need to write about the assertions that is impacting this particular transaction. If let's say, uh, you know, training cost is capitalized, what is the assertion that is impacting for assets? It's definitely the valuation, right? Assertion, valuation of the non-current asset is getting impacted. For expenses, it is the, uh, you know, accuracy, whether it's accurate. Second, for expenses, it is the classification. It's classified incorrectly, right? So. What assertions are getting impacted because of this accounting issues? What you need to write the assertions which respect to statement of profit or loss or statement of financial position you need to explain. Second, you need to write the audit procedures. What audit procedures you are going to perform? Like how you gonna, uh, you know, how you're going to perform this particular audit procedures and the audit procedures AEIOU. Perform an analytical review of the last year to the current year. Enquire with the manager or enquire with the accountant this and that. Inspect the uh, you know invoices. Inspect the breakdown of the assets that have been capitalized as non-current assets. Third one is the audit evidence. Audit evidence. Audit evidence means the documents that you're going to collect. The documents. What documents do you need? Do you need internal documents, external documents? What are the evidences that you're required to collect? That you have to link it to the risk. Depending upon the risk, you need to identify the evidence as well. So you need to write the approach or the right answer should have clear explanations of all these elements. So in your answer, you should have explanations of all these elements. Explanations of all these elements only then only then you will be able to 
clear uh, score marks. Only then you will be able to score marks. So this is the approach that we are going to follow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this approach. I want you to note down this approach and we are going to look at specific accounting related issues. The first one we are going to cover is taxation, specifically defer taxation. And we'll do a question and based on the question, we'll try to create uh, using this approach, we'll try to write down or give explanations for the answers.